Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to part two of what I got for Christmas for my makeup collection. Uh, if you missed Tuesday's video, I'm gonna link it down below and I will link it at the end of the video. So make sure to watch until then so you can see what I got um, on Tuesday. And so I'm just gonna keep on rolling with what I got. And um, I am gonna put out a little disclaimer. I don't want any like rude and nasty comments saying, oh my gosh, your family's so rich. We're really not that rich. Um, we just got a lot of things on sale. My family and I work really hard for the money that we do have. And we are platinum at Ulta, so we get a lot of points back. So we save our points up till Christmas. So a lot of this stuff was either free or almost free. And uh, um, we are VIP or VIB at um, Sephora. So we used our points for some of that as well. So no nasty comments, please. So I'm just going to start off with a NARS product, and this is the NARS Audacious Mascara. I love trying out different mascaras, and I'm so excited about this because I love NARS products, and I just think they are some of the best. And then I also got, this is the Buxom, what is it called? Bold Gel Lipstick. It's matte, and it's in the color Wildfire. Um, number one, it's a magnetic lid, which I thought, I, was, I played with this forever. I thought it was super cool. And it's like this like ready, like orangey color. And it's so soft and it goes on so smooth that it's gonna be the perfect color for in the middle of summer. And then I also got some of these Sephora masks. These are really great. I do these about once every two weeks. These are the Rose, Pearl, and Lotus mask. I did the pearl one two nights ago and it really helps bring out the color and the luminosity in my skin. So I love these, these are awesome. And then I also got, this is the Clarisonic Deep Pore Detoxifying Clay Mask. I got a lot of skincare stuff because my New Year's resolution is to work harder on my skincare. So I'm really excited about this. I don't have a Clarisonic. But you know, you can just wipe things off with a washcloth and that's gonna be all right. It's really difficult to get open. And it's a pretty good size tube. It's got two fluid ounces in it, but I haven't taken the thing off yet. So I can't tell you what it smells like or anything, but if you've used this, let me know how it worked out for you. Because sometimes I find that I get spots like here. So I wanna try to get that cleared up. So I don't look like I'm 12 anymore. And then I also got this Lorac palette. It's super tiny, it's super cute, and it's really great for traveling. It's the Love Lust Lace palette. This is the package that it came in. And then if I can get it open for you guys. The actual palette is the same design as the box. And it's got five different colors in it. So it's got like a dark navy, a more of a gray, a brown, um, a vanilla, and a white. They're all matte, they're super pigmented, and I love Lorac um, eyeshadows. I think they're really great, so I'm excited about this. And I just think that sometimes like small things like this are really good to take with you or leave in your purse, especially if you're going from a day to night event. So this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's in the color dark brown. It looks like this. I've used up this one pretty much. So I asked for a new one for Christmas because they last a really long time, but it's a little bit expensive. I think it's like $18. So I thought I would just ask for it for Christmas. And I, they, it's the best thing for your eyebrows. Like that and the Anast if you live in the South and it's hot or wherever you live and it's hot, um, the Anastasia Dip Brow um, in the color Medium Brown is a really good color match for this as well. And then I also got the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Complexion Primer Potion. I used this before my foundation, but after my moisturizer. And I was halfway out of my tube, so I knew I was gonna have to get a new one soon. And so this was on sale on Black Friday. So we went ahead and ordered this as well. And then the rest of this stuff is more exciting than just basic makeup stuff. This is the Too Faced Christmas Miracles set. And it comes with a miniature of their um, chocolate soleil 
um, matte bronzer and I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the color like the medium color and then one of their miniatures of the Better Than Sex mascara and then one of their melted lipsticks which I've actually never used before. I've looked at them in the store before. I've swatched them in the store before and I've always wanted to try them but I've never just done it. So I think they're really cool because it comes with this like sponge applicator which I think it might be tricky to like make everything even with that but the color on these are phenomenal like they're just it comes out kind of in a mess like it's got like tiny tiny holes in that sponge and then i'm actually will clean my hands up and they're so pigmented it's ridiculous you don't need a whole ton of it and this is in the color candy melted candy and it's like a hot pink color so I'm excited about that because it's going to be perfect for in the spring when all like the bright colors and pastels are in and it's, I, I'm excited about it. I don't know if anybody else is, but I am. And then I've heard a lot of really good things about Nest perfumes. So these are roller balls and they're from Nest and one of them is the fragrance Indigo, one is Verde and one is Dahlia and Vine. And it looks like this and I kind of don't want to take it out of the package because it's so pretty but I want to see what they smell like and it says that indigo is excuse me you're very loud trying to get out of here it says that indigo is Moroccan tea cashmere wood and black cardamom with hints of wild fig and bergamot so I'm gonna see these are ridiculous. To so I really about. struggled through that trying to get these out of the box. I don't think Nest thought about like packaging very well when they packaged these. But anyways, Indigo. Um, I read the description. Let's see what it smells like. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It's really warming, but it's also really light. I think it'd be really perfect for like spring. I'm really looking forward to spring. I'm tired of winter because, let's be honest, Florida's winter has been all sorts of jacked up. It's been 80 degrees at Christmas, and now it's New Year's, and it's freezing. So I, I'm ready for spring. I think that's going to be a perfect one. And then it says Verde is wild fern and Himalayan cedar with verbena leaves and vetiver. I have no idea what that means or what those are. That smells like outside. It just smells like grass. And my dad. But like in a good way. Like it's something like my dad, like not that my dad would wear this cause it's still really like, like floral and like feminine. But it reminds me of my dad because like my dad always mows our grass. I like that. And then the last one is Dahlia and Vines, and it says that it's dewy daffodils, peonies, and rose are blended with the essence of garden vines. So this one's going to smell like flowers. That's really nice. I think this one's going to be really nice for summer. So, and they're really small, and since they are a rollerball, I think they'll be really good for traveling. So these are definitely a win. And then we are down to the last one, two, three, four things. And this one was really special because it's from the Smashbox Art Love Color Collection, which I thought just the packaging is so pretty. It's got like this watercolor, oil, slick kind of vibe going on. And it's got one, two, three, four, five different eyesh um, eyeshadows, not eyeshadows, eyeliners in it. It's got a purple, a brown, a gold, a black, and a blue. And I've heard really great things about these because you wind them up and in the lid, they have um, a sharpener inside. So you don't need to carry around a sharpener, but they're always gonna be sharp. So I'm really excited to get to try these, especially the blue, cause it's so bright. I was able to swatch this in the store and I absolutely loved it. So I'm excited about this as well. And then just another cult classic. I'm, I was really excited because I got a lot of cult classics for Christmas. I got the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay, which looks like this if you've never seen it before, but I'm sure you probably have. And I, my friend has this and loves it, but she's like her skin tone suits these more pink colors. And I just think that you can do so much with 
any of these naked palettes and it has a really good range of colors it's got vanillas and it's got more um, like rose gold um, tones down here it's more brown tones and it's got a really dark 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 brown down here the only thing I would say is I wish it had more mattes the only mattes it has is one two three is that matte that's really that's got matte with like a tiny bit of shimmer so like three true mattes in it I wish they were a little bit more matte and more like a better mix of mattes and shimmers but I'm actually really excited about this and being able to use it so look out for a um, video with this featured in it so this was like the year for eyeshadow palettes I think um, this is the Urban Decay Ammo Palette, and this is a miniature of the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which is different than the um, Pore Perfecting one, so I'm excited to get to try that to see how it compares to the Smashbox one I'm already using, but the Eyeshadow Palette is absolutely beautiful. It's got this really pretty sugar skull on the front, and then the inside has a really, like, cool like combination of colors inside none of them are matte they're all shimmers but I just think that you can do just about anything with this so it's got like two gold shades two purple shades like a dark black and more of a champagne color a green and a blue and then two like more like brown gold colors here on the end and I'm actually really excited about these greens and blues and then these two purples here because I'm kind of getting into more of like adding color to my eyeshadow looks instead of just doing like a typical like neutral. So I think this is going to go a long way to help with so that. So this last thing, my mom and I were checking out at Ulta and it was kind of in that aisle of doom that you're not supposed to buy anything from but you find yourself grabbing at things anyways is the Too Faced Melted French Kisses um, collection. So it's got four of those melted lipsticks, one of them that I swatched earlier, um, and candy from a different box. But this has two that are metallic and two that are matte. So I'm actually really excited to see what the metallic one looks like. So this one is in the, it's called liquefied metallic lipstick which i think is really really cool so this is melted metallic peony and it's got that same like velvet top with all the holes in it oh there we go so it's like a light baby pink is the way i know how to describe this but it is it's pretty metallic. This next one is a matte and it's called Chihuahua. And it, on the box, it looks very like a brown nude. And it looks like something like you would see a Kardashian wear. I feel like with these, you can definitely like build them up or just wear one layer and call it a day. So that, yep, definitely a more Kardashian color. It's a brown, nudie, dusty rose color but it's still really pretty, definitely wearable for fall. So I think that would be a good one. And then this next one is another one of the metallic ones. And it's in the color Metallic Macaron. Mac macaroon? Macaroon? However you say that. Caitlin, if you're watching, tell me in the comments phonetically if you um, how to say that. My friend Caitlin is a teacher and she always makes fun of the way I say things. So this is like a hot pink, bright, bright hot pink, but it's metallic-y, so it's shiny, which is really cool. This is literally the metallic version of candy that I swatched earlier. So I love that. That's going to be great. And then this last one is a berry color, which happens to be called berry. So I think I'm set on lipsticks for the next year. There's no need to buy any more. The only thing I would say about these Too Faced ones is you kind of need a lot, and I feel like this sponge kind of soaks up a lot of the product. So it might just be better to get, it's a great concept, but maybe just putting it in a normal tube would be best. So that's what Barry looks like. So that is what I got for Christmas makeup wise. If you liked this, if you didn't like this, let me know in the comments. I'm sure you'll let me know if you didn't like it. 
Um, but I hope you guys have a really great rest of your week. Have a really great weekend. I will see you on Tuesday with a brand new video. And um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday. Bye.